Good evening and welcome to Scranton High School's Awards Night for the Class of 2020. Tonight we recognize nearly 200 students for their involvement in an extracurricular club, sport, or activity for at least two years. In addition, we will honor several individual students for their outstanding accomplishments within their specific club, sport, or activity. At this time, I would like to introduce to you Senior Lydia McConnellog to speak on behalf of all award recipients. Good evening. I would like to begin by expressing my gratitude for the opportunity to speak on behalf of my fellow classmates and award winners this evening. I would like to thank Mr. Coyle, Mr. Mitchell, and Mr. Montoro for giving me this opportunity. Commitment is defined as the state or quality of being dedicated to a cause or activity. The students being honored tonight are those that have truly committed to being a part of something bigger than themselves, namely Scranton High School and the Scranton community as a whole. The lessons learned in the value of being part of a club or team are significant. Through activities, we have learned the concepts of communication, discipline, teamwork, tolerance, patience, service, and the dedication to the greater good, but to name a few. Being involved in activities and sports at Scranton High has given us the chance to meet diverse people, broaden our scope of interests, lend a helping hand to those in need, and learn more about ourselves and the essential role we play in our community. Tonight, we are being recognized for all the time and effort we put into a sport or club. We are being recognized for our persistence and dedication to our activities, as well as the classroom. And we are being recognized for becoming well-rounded individuals that will continue to emanate positivity in the world that awaits us. There are several people we must acknowledge and thank because without them, it would not be possible for us to receive these awards. We'd like to thank the administration for their support and encouragement our teachers for always pushing us to become better versions of ourselves, both in and out of the classroom. Mr. Anderson for juggling the athletic schedules and transportation, even though a bus might not show up every now and again. To our coaches and moderators, the amount of compensation will never equal the amount of time and energy you put into helping us succeed. The sacrifices you make to be here with us often go without recognition, but we are truly grateful for your guidance and unwavering dedication. At this time, we would be remiss if we did not thank Ronell Barrett for the countless hours he has spent making this virtual ceremony a reality. We must thank our parents and guardians for their unconditional love and support. They are our chauffeurs to practice, our personal cheerleaders, and our shoulders to cry on. They're the people at every game, rain or shine, and the people in the front row at every concert, competition, or play. 
They're the people we look up to and aspire to become. We may not say it enough, but thank you. To the class of 2020, we are all instruments marching in a common band, making the beautiful song called Scranton High. Keep that song in your heart as you celebrate our successes and look to the future for new ones. Congratulations to the administration, faculty, staff, coaches, moderators, and the class of 2020 for continuing to make Scranton High School the campus of champions. Thank you. Good evening. It's my pleasure to introduce you to the award winners for the class of 2020. These students are being recognized for their participation in extracurricular activities and athletics here at Scranton High School. Praneet Ale, boys soccer. Dwight Abram, wrestling, orchestra, drama club. Deja Alexander, night rhythms. Julia Marie Allen, art club. James Ambrosia, pond club. Jerea Amin, Boys Tennis. Brenda Orochi, Art Club. Brian Artiquana, Boys Soccer. Jacob Bagasevich, Baseball. Quinn Baylor, German Club. Elizabeth Barrett, Football Chair, FBLA, Student Council President, Spanish Club, Mock Trial, Spirit Club. Olivia Bell, Spanish Club. Neil Balja, Boys Tennis, Mock Trial, Peer Tutoring. Aiden Bond, Spanish Club. Sam Bond, Track and Field, Marching Band, German Club. Alexa Bonk, Softball, FBLA. Corey Bridges, Football. Tiana Brown, Chamber Choir. Louis Bowie, Marching Band, German Club. Ashley Burdick, Orchestra, French Club. Leah Burgett, Drama Club. Ryan Kalpin, Track and Field, Cross Country. Nino Caracciolo, Golf Team, Ski Club, Track and Field, French Club. Steven Cardenas, Boys Soccer. Cody Carlson, Football, Basketball Cheer. Joshua Christensen, Track and Field, Cross Country, Spanish Club, Student Ambassador. Matthew Christensen, Mock Trial, Boys Soccer. Ian Sioka, Baseball. Anna Cipriano, Track and Field, Cross Country, Spanish Club. Paige Clark, Marching Band, Drama Club. Sam Cortez, Orchestra, FBLA. Sarah Crossland, Art Club. Jacqueline Kuna, Senior Class Officer, Coaches vs. Cancer, FBLA, Art Club, Student Ambassador, Spirit Club. Julia Kuna, Night Rhythms, Coaches vs. Cancer, Football Cheer, Miss Knight, Spirit Club. Priyanka Dahl, Spanish Club. Josh Davies, Football. Matilda Davis, Night Rhythms, Peer Tutoring. Lauren Del Santro, Football Cheer. Snee Desai, Boys Tennis. Melanie De Souza, Chamber Choir, Spanish Club. Ranjita Dungel, Spanish Club. Dan Doherty, Boys Basketball. Nick Drouse, Swim Team, Boys Soccer. Rihanna Dune, Softball. Jacob Iden, Night Rhythms, Drama Club, Student Ambassador. Ansuli Alicia, Boys Soccer. Fiona Evans, Girls Basketball, Softball, Coaches vs. Cancer, Student Council Officer, FBLA, Spanish Club, Student Ambassador, Spirit Club. Brandon Everett, Swim Team. Brooke Fetzak, Night Rhythms, Student Ambassador. Siona Fields, Softball. John Finnerty, Night Rhythms, Swim Team, Senior Class Officer, FBLA, Student Ambassador. Lauren Flynn Miller, Orchestra, German Club, Spirit Club. Madeline Fueschko, Night Rhythms, Football Cheer. 
Michaela Gauss, Student Ambassador. Ben Giorgetti, Spanish Club. Caitlin Gingerlowski, Orchestra. Sofia Glogowski, Girls Basketball, Coaches vs. Cancer, FBLA, Spanish Club, Spirit Club. Hannah Goldberg, Art Club. Nicole Golden, Softball, Art Club. Logan Gonzalez, Drama Club, Spanish Club. Noah Green, German Club. Kareem Green, Football. Trey Griggs, French Club. Tim Gromlowski, Concert Band. Zohal Gul Mohammed, Penserve, Chamber Choir, Student Ambassador, Peer Tutoring. Megan Guzowitz, Night Rhythm, Yearbook, Drama Club, Student Ambassador. Amanda Guzowitz, Orchestra, Marching Band, Yearbook, Drama Club, Student Ambassador. David Hakus, Baseball, Senior Class Officer, Coaches vs. Cancer, FBLA, Spirit Club. Liam Hailstone, Football. Seamus Hailstone, Football. Morteza Hamidi, Track and Field, Cross Country, Spanish Club. Kiana Harbin, Girls Basketball, Track and Field. Christopher Hernandez, French Club, Drama Club. Heather Hewitt, Drama Club. Brian Hobbs, Baseball, FBLA, Spanish Club. Lauren Holzman, Basketball Cheer, Football Cheer. Allison Hugo, Track and Field, March and Band, Concert Band, Art Club, Cross Country. Aliyah Jalil, Orchestra, Marching Band. Matthew Jennings, Pond Club. Anthony Keyes, Boys Basketball. Devin Cristianto, FBLA. Angel Kropanicki, Night Rhythms. Aliyah Kubeski, Yearbook, Spirit Club. Mackenzie Lavelle, French Club, Art Club. Noah Leedy, Baseball, Basketball, Drama Club, FBLA, Student Ambassador, Spirit Club, Senior Class President. Jacob Locke, Baseball, Pond Club, Ski Club. Kyra Lopez Santiago, Penn Serve, Art Club. George Lokopoulos, Ski Club, Track and Field, Cross Country. Julie Lowry, Senior Class Officer, Coaches vs. Cancer, Football Cheer, FBLA, Spanish Club, Student Ambassador, Spirit Club. Sumit Magar, Boys Soccer. Esteban Marengo, Ski Club, Track and Field, Marching Band, Concert Band. Carl Martinez, Football. Roberto Martinez, French Club. Fallon Mason, French Club. Lydia McConlog, Night Rhythms, Coaches vs. Cancer, Senior Class Officer, Student Ambassador, Peer Tutoring, Spirit Club. Mari McLaughlin, Orchestra, German Club. Corey Miller, Marching Band. Devani Miller, French Club. Jalil Mitchell, Football. Omar Modesto, Orchestra, Marching Band, French Club. Mary Molesky, Girls Soccer. Carla Morales, Girls Tennis, Coaches vs. Cancer, French Club, Art Club. Judy Moyer, Marching Band, French Club, Art Club. Colette Mulderig, Girls Basketball, Coaches vs. Cancer, FBLA, Spanish Club, Spirit Club. Madison Mullen, Night Rhythms, Football Cheer, FBLA, Student Ambassador. Alex Musty, Boys Soccer. Courtney Neal, Step Team. Shanice Nelson, Senior Class Officer, Orchestra, Student Ambassador, Spirit Club. Aiden Nicholas, Student Ambassador, Drama Club. Chase Notes, Orchestra, Art Club. Katerina O'Boyle, Night Rhythms, Senior Class Officer, Drama Club. Raya Rose Olecki, Drama Club. Isaiah Ortiz, Marching Band, Jazz Band, Concert Band. Erica Padilla, Art Club. Devang Patel, Track and Field, FBLA, Cross Country, Spanish Club, Mock Trial, Student Ambassador. Drew Patel, Boys Tennis, Art Club. 
Harpal Patel, Boys Tennis. Het Patel, Boys Tennis. Jay Patel, Boys Tennis, Mock Trial, Peer Tutoring. Kush Patel, Art Club. Maitri Patel, Girls Tennis, Pen Serve, Yearbook, Art Club, Spanish Club, Student Ambassador, Peer Tutoring, Sp Spirit Club. Makun Patel, Boys Tennis. Anisha Patel, Art Club. Priyal Patel, Girls Tennis, FBLA, Spanish Club, Student Ambassador, Peer Tutoring. Vidi Patel, Art Club. Vidi Ben Patel, Art Club. Yashi Patel, Girls Tennis, Student Council Officer, FBLA, Spanish Club, Student Ambassador, Peer Tutoring, Spirit Club. Mia Pauli, Drama Club, Art Club. Brandon Peck, Student Ambassador, Coaches vs. Cancer. Anna Maria Perez, Pond Club. Caitlin Persad, Girls Soccer, Spanish Club. Jamalette Piazza, Drama Club, FBLA. Krisner Polonese, Pond Club, Track and Field. Matthew Prothero, Pond Club, Golf Team, French Club, Student Ambassador, German Club. Farid Kudus, FBLA, Mock Trial, Boys Soccer. Chris Reap, French Club, German Club. Joshua Reyes, Pond Club, Marching Band. Samuel Rodarte, Drama Club. Ariana Royce, Night Rhythms. Edgar Santa, Boys Soccer. Jamie Santiago, French Club, Student Ambassador. Kyra Santiago, French Club. Meredith Santiago, Night Rhythms, Senior Class Officer, French Club, Drama Club, FBLA, Spirit Club. Grace Cherist, Orchestra. Elizabeth Seprish, FBLA. Alyssa Shaw, Night Rhythms, Yearbook, Student Ambassador. Anaya Simmons, Step Team. Lily Smith, Track and Field, Student Council Officer, Spanish Club, Cross Country, Student Ambassador. Zach Starks, Football. Joseph Sterlecki, FBLA. Bra Braylon Tagliferi, Night Rhythms, Football Cheer. Jet Lee Tang, Track and Field, German Club. Justin Thomas, Football. Ebony Thompson, Orchestra, Marching Band, Jazz Band, Concert Band. Jason Thorpe Adams, Football. Abigail Turva, Art Club. Erica Velez, French Club. Olivia Vancher, French Club. Aubriana Van Fleet, Night Rhythms, Yearbook, Football Cheer, Student Council Officer, FBLA, Student Ambassador. Michelle Vaccaro, Art Club. Oscar Vargas, Drama Club. Brian Michael Vols, Pond Club, French Club. Ricky Walker, Football. Brittany Walsh, Girls Soccer, Softball, Orchestra, Student Ambassador. Sarah Walsh, Softball, Yearbook, Art Club, Spirit Club. Aviana Watts, Step Team. Tylil White, Football. Tamaya Wiggins, Softball, German Club. Sarah Williams, Track and Field, Cross Country, FBLA, Coaches vs. Cancer, Student Ambassador. Matt Williams, Football. Tiavian Woodson, Chamber Choir. Ryan Wozniak, Golf Team, French Club, Art Club, German Club. Alexis Yasinski, Girls Soccer. Taylor Zombeck, Girls Tennis, Night Rhythms, Basketball Cheer, Student Ambassador. And these are your 2020 medal winners for Scranton High School. The Dorothy Tobin Dwyhe Award. Here to present this award is Scranton High School track coach, Mr. Dave Powell. The Dorothy Tobin Dwyhe Award is to be awarded to a young woman in the senior class who has demonstrated excellence in the classroom, as well as dedication, leadership, and performance as a member of the Scranton High School track and field team. The award is presented by the children of Mrs. Dwyhe in her memory. The award consists of a plaque and a scholarship in the amount of $500. Usually presenting the award is our former track and field coach at Scranton High, Mr. Cy Dwyhe, a teacher who retired from the Scranton School District in 2003. 
Uh, this particular young girl has been fantastic uh, in the classroom. She has been uh, a person that we could always count on. She's uh, gone above and beyond to um, not only do the best that she can in the track, but to aid in any type of, um, you know, um, undertaking that we've ever needed her to do. Uh, she definitely is deserving and we'll miss her next year. The winner of the Dorothy Tobin Dewahi Award for 2019-20 is Anna Cipriano. Congratulations, Anna. Uh, we'll miss you next year. The Joseph May Memorial Award. Joseph May was captain of the cross country and track teams at Scranton Central High School and vice president of the senior class of 1980. He was a freshman at Penn State University when he was killed in a car accident. This award was established by his class of 1980 to honor his memory. This year's winner is Joshua Christensen. The Thomas Coyne Award. This award is awarded to the female athlete that represents herself on and off the court. The winner is Colette Mulderig. Our next award is the Tim Hopkins Scholarship. This is awarded to the student that best represents the spirit of Tim Hopkins. The winner is Jacob Iden. Our next awards are the Marine Corps Awards. The Semper Fidelis Award for Music Excellence is Louis Bowie. The Scholastic Excellence Award is Christopher Reap. The Athletic Excellence Award is Kiana Harbin. Our next award is the Matthew J. Newell Scholarship Award. Matthew Newell was a 2005 graduate of Scranton High School. Matthew truly loved Scranton High School and continued to support the Knights until his untimely death in August of 2010. Matthew is remembered as a Mr. Congeniality. In his honor, the Newell family has established this award in his memory to be presented to a graduating senior who embodies the qualities which Matthew was known for. In addition, the Newell family has established Matthew's mission in honor of Matthew. The mission strives to promote awareness, for students and adults with special needs and to celebrate the things that were more, most important to Matthew. This year's recipients are the Matthew J. Newell Scholarship, Brooke Fetzak. And for Matthew's mission, female winner, Lauren Del Santro, and the male winner, Ryan Wozniak. The Eugene Donovan Scholarship. The senior recipient for this award is a student who has persevered during their academic career while enduring obstacles and difficulties, yet overcoming them and realizing they have potential to excel with the help of others, their own abilities, and hard work. The winners are Alexa Bonk, Caitlin Persad. The ASA Administrators Award. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Mike Montoro, President of the ASA. Good evening, I'm Michael Montoro, and it's my pleasure to present the ASA Administrator's Award. In order to receive the ASA Award, the recipient must meet the following criteria. Must be a member in good standing of the National Honor Society or obtain an average of 90% or above. Must have evidence of community involvement. Must have attended public school from K to 12. Must have participated in extracurricular activities and school service must present evidence of acceptance to an institute of higher learning. This year's winners are Alexa Bonk, Julia Kuna, and Noah Leedy. Our next set of awards will be presented by our performing arts staff. The Rita Leonard Award is designed to acknowledge significant achievement of students in band, chorus, orchestra, and drama. To be eligible, Students must be nominated by their respective teacher, have been a member of the program for at least three years, including the senior year, and maintain an average of at least 92 in their respective discipline. Students must be a fine character, committed to performance in their field of study, and continue to improve or strive to improve in their art form. It is my honor to announce the following students as recipients of this year's Rita Leonard Awards. Band, Isaiah Ortiz. Chorus, 
Lydia Ray McConalogue. Theater, Katerina O'Boyle. And orchestra, Ebony Thompson and Caitlin Gingerlowski. In recognition of our top performing artists, academic scholars, we honor those students who have risen above as one of the highest overall academic and performing arts GPA recipients. The award winners for this year are as follows. Band, Esteban Marengo. Choir, Lydia Ray McConlog. Orchestra, Shanice Nelson. And theater, Matilda Davis. We are pleased to introduce the Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award. In his long career, Bernstein made an indelible mark on the musical world as a conductor, composer, and teacher. This award will honor students whose musical contributions, dedication, and creativity set them apart as deserving of the highest recognition for their achievements. The award winner is Madeline Fueshko. The Sousa Award is the pinnacle of achievement in a high school band. Introduced in 1955 to honor the top student in the high school band, the John Philip Sousa Band Award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. It was created with the approval of Helen Sousa Albert and Priscilla Sousa, daughters of the famous composer and bandmaster. The winner this year is Ebony Thompson. The Quincy Jones Musicianship Award honors outstanding students for their creativity and musicianship. In his long career, Quincy Jones has done it all as a composer, arranger, performer, producer, and teacher. Every music program has those students who share this boundless energy and musical versatility. With his approval, we initiate this award to encourage students in their pursuit of music. The award winner is Grace Sherist. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award was inaugurated in 1974 with the consent of his widow shortly after this great jazz artist died in 1971. It honors the outstanding jazz musician at each high school. The winner this year is Esteban Marengo. The Dionysian Award is named in honor of Dionysus, the Greek god of wine and fertility. It's from the festivals and celebrations to honor him that contemporary theater draws its origins. In honor of the multi-talented performers who laid the groundwork for the art form we love so much, tonight I would like to honor one of our own performers, Megan Guzowitz. The National School Choral and Orchestra Awards are the highest honors for high school choral and orchestra performers. It recognizes the dedication, musical achievement, excellence in performing, and contributions to the ensembles. The winner for the National School Choral Award is Lydia Ray McConlog, and the winner for the National School Orchestra Award is Omar Modesto. The Thespian Award is being presented to a student who has the highest level of achievement in school theater performance and technical theater. The winner this year is Jacob Iden. The Theater Tech Award is being presented to a student who has dedicated his high school career engaging and learning all aspects of theater technology. From the audio, building of sets, flying set pieces, to lighting the performers and stage, this student has excelled in his craft. The winner is Christopher Hernandez. Our next award is the Leader Save Lives American Red Cross. Here to present this award is Ms. Andrea Gross and Ms. Courtney Blaney. As the Blood Drive Coordinators here at Scranton High School, it's our pleasure to present the Leader Save Lives American Red Cross Scholarship. During the 2019-2020 school year, 
we held three Red Cross blood drives where students, faculty, and staff donated blood. Based on the number of presenting donors at our drives, the Red Cross donates scholarship money and certificates in recognition of our student council officers. The recipients of the Leaders Save Lives scholarships are Elizabeth Barrett, President of Student Council, Lillian Smith, Vice President, Abriana Van Fleet, Secretary, Fiona Evans, Treasurer, and Yashi Patel, Publicist. Congratulations. Congrats, everyone. The James Robeson Memorial Scholarship, established through the Scranton Firefighters Union in memory of James Robeson, who was killed in the line of duty. This year's winner is Heather Hewitt. The Wegman Scholarship, an exemplary senior employee chosen by the Wegmans Corporation. This year winner is Carissa Hedgeland. The Art Awards. Please welcome Mrs. Carrie Ruddy Archer, one of our art teachers here at Scranton High School. She will present our Art Awards. Hello Scranton High School, this is the Art Awards. First, we are going with the PTA Reflections winner, who is Jackie Kuna. Next, we have up the Scholastic Art Award recipients who were gold key winners. And the winners are Abby Turva and Jackie Kuna. Also, last but not least, we have our Art Club Service Award. These are for students in my art club that went a little above and beyond and helped me out with a bunch of things I needed. And those students are Jackie Kuna, Hannah Goldberg, Allison Hugel, Mackenzie Lavelle, and Judith Moyer. The Catherine Turry Spanish Award. Kathy Turry was a Spanish teacher in the Scranton School District who brought her love of Spanish language to her students daily and showed compassion and kindness to everyone. The award recipient must demonstrate a love of the culture and excitement for the Spanish language as Kathy Turry did. This year's winner is Yashi Patel. The Mock Trial Award. The Mock Trial Award is given to a student who has been a member of the Mock Trial team for four years and has shown outstanding commitment to the Mock Trial team. This year's winner is Elizabeth Barrett. Our next awards are the Academy of Health and Sciences students that have completed the course. Melanie D'Souza, Fiona Evans, Julia Lowry, Maitri Patel, Priyal Patel, Yashi Patel, Jamie Santiago, Alyssa Shaw, Olivia Sperani, Abriana Van Fleet. The Barbara McNulty International Scholarship Award. I'm honored here tonight to present the Barbara McNulty International Scholarship Award. Barb McNulty was a former guidance counselor here at Scranton High for many years. Throughout her career, Barb always lent the helping hand to a student in need, had a caring heart, and welcomed a new student to the Scranton High School community. Mrs. McNulty always took time out of her busy schedule to help our international students find a home at Scranton High. Barb McNulty set the bar as to what it means to be a guidance counselor in a public school. This award honors Barb's memory and her tireless work to the Scranton High community. This year's scholarship winner is Vidi Patel. Here to present our next award is Mr. Ted Anderson, Athletic Director. Thank you, Mr. Mitchell. The first athletic award this evening is the Bob McGough Memorial Scholarship. Bob was known for his intensity as a basketball player and coach, for his love of running and his leadership as a city councilman. He was first and foremost a teacher. Bob believed in helping a child reach their goals in life and that the key was education. The family wants to continue his belief by awarding this $1,000 scholarship to a track or cross-country participant going on to further their education. This year's winner is Sarah Williams. Our next two awards tonight are the Soccer Parents Scholarship Awards. On behalf of coaches Seamus McCormick, Adam McCormick, Matt Lottney, and Joe McGuire, I am pleased to present this year's Parents Club Soccer Awards for teamwork, dedication, and sportsmanship to Brian Ateraguana, and Alexis Yashinsky. Our next award is the Alwyn Jones Memorial Award. 
For many years, Alwyn Jones was the boys' varsity basketball coach at Technical High School. He was highly regarded throughout these years, and an award was established in his name to honor a talented senior basketball player. The award winner must use his talents in the classroom, conduct himself as a gentleman on the court and off, and be a worthy representative of Scranton High School. It is my pleasure to, to present this award to Anthony Keyes. The Clarence J. Ropeson Award is presented annually to an outstanding boys basketball player whose hustle, determination, and dedication set an example for the rest of the team. He is a leader both on and off the court. This year's recipient is Noah Leedy. Our next awards are the Basketball Parents Club Scholarship Awards. Every year, the Basketball Booster Club presents a scholarship award to a male and female player who have dedicated themselves to their respective programs. This award is a small token of appreciation for all of the hard work. This year's winners, our boy winner is Dan Doherty. Our girl winner, Sophia Glagowski. Next up are our football awards. The Friends of the Night Scholarship Award is presented annually to two players who represent Scranton High School both on and off the field in a dedicated way. Our two winners this year are Tylil White and Jason Thorpe Adams. Our next football award is the Michael Weiland Award winner. This award is presented for hard work, sportsmanship, determination, and a work ethic that belongs tops on the field. This year's winner is Seamus Hailstone. Our next football award is the France Award. It was started a few years ago by Mr. France's two sons, Dr. Brian France and Daryl France. Both men played all conference lineman positions at Central High School in the late 70s. They continued their careers at the University of Rochester in the early 80s. This award is in honor of their father, Ernest. Ernest was a star athlete in the late 40s who excelled in basketball and football. The purpose of this award is to honor a student who is not only an outstanding athlete, but someone who excels in the classroom. The France family would like to extend congratulations and best wishes for a successful future to this year's winner, Jalil Mitchell. The next award is the Scranton High School Football Cheerleader Spirit Award. This award is given to a senior member of the varsity football cheerleading team. This individual was a three-year member of the squad and exhibited outstanding leadership, spirit, and responsibility to her team. This year's winner is Julia Lowry. Our next two awards are swimming awards, the Les Richards Award and the Swim Team Parents Club Scholarship. The Les Richards Award is given annually to our top swimmer or diver. It is awarded in honor of Les Richards, a longtime gym assistant and pool manager in the Scranton School District. Les took an interest in the sport of swimming, becoming an official, and progressing to become local president of the official's chapter, local rules interpreter, and the state rules interpreter, and eventually becoming the meet director at the state championships. He always supported and was very proud of our Scranton swimmers. The athlete chosen for this award embodies all the characteristics that Mr. Richards respected. This year's winner is Nicholas Strauss. And again, our other swimming award is the Parents Club Scholarship Award. It also embodies dedication, hard work, and team camaraderie. And this year's winner is Nicholas Strauss. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our baseball coach, Mr. Jamie Higgins, to present the Coaches Award and the Parents Club Scholarship Award. Greetings, Night Nation. I'm excited to be here. So I have the opportunity to present two of my baseball awards tonight. Uh, the first one's gonna be the Scranton High School Baseball Club Scholarship. Um, and this award goes to uh, a student uh, and an athlete who's, who's been in our program uh, for four years, um, has, has displayed uh, leadership skills, uh, being a good teammate, um, just be, being a good student, a good member of the Scranton High School community. All right, this kid uh, is a class officer. Uh, he's just a great role model for, for a program, uh, someone that uh, you, you want representing not only yourself as a team, but uh, the Scranton High School community a as a whole. Uh, the Scranton High School Baseball Club Parents Club Scholarship goes to David Hagus. Congratulations, David. Our next award is the Coaches Award. And ironically, the Coaches Award, it's this 10 year anniversary uh, for this award. Uh, my wife and I started this award, uh, award way back in 2010. Uh, really no clear cut um, criteria for the award. It's, it's someone who loves the game of baseball, uh, someone who's dedicated to the program, 
someone who gives everything they have. They're a great teammate. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be a great student, but a good student, someone that you want to uh, represent your school. Fortunately, uh, the, the winner of this year's award is, is both of those. He's a great student, great kid, uh, great teammate, uh, been a three-year starter. Uh, looking, you know, we're looking for him to lead our team this year in, in, in a number of ways. Um, and unfortunately, things don't work out, but uh, I think, you know, this kid will grow and, and he'll learn from those situations and, and hopefully carry them on um, and, and do great things in life. All right. The winner of the 2020 Coaches Award goes to Brian Hobbs. Congratulations to all the award winners tonight and, and, and a special shout out to the class of 2020. All right, bigger and better things are gonna come to you. Go Knights. Our next award is the Softball Parent Scholarship Award. This year's recipient is Alexa Bonk. Our next two awards are our tennis awards. The Joe McNulty MVP Tennis Awards. Joe McNulty was our longtime tennis coach at Scranton High School. He started the programs back at Scranton Central over 40 years ago. He has taught both on the court and off the court how to become a great player and a great individual. The Joe McNulty Tennis MVP Awards go to Taylor Zombeck and Sinead Desai. Our next award is the Golf Award. Each year, Scranton High School's golf team is very successful in league and individual play. We choose one MVP Golf Award every year. The 2020 MVP Award goes to Nino Caracciolo. Our next two awards are the Cross Country Parent Scholarship Awards. The Cross Country Parent Scholarship Award is given each year to the student runner who has exemplified the true meaning of school spirit and dedication. The award is not necessarily intended to go to the most talented runner, but to an athlete who has sacrificed himself or herself for the good of the team. Our award winner this evening has been a positive leader and role model for their younger teammates. This year's recipients are Sarah Williams and Devang Patel. Our next award is the Wrestling Parents Club Scholarship Award. The Wrestling Parents Club Scholarship Award is for a recipient who must meet and exhibit the following requirements. A wrestling team member for at least two years, must be academically sound, must adhere to school policies and guidelines, must be accepted and enrolled in an institution of higher education, and must have exhibited leadership characteristics within the wrestling team. This year's winner is Dwight Abram. Our next two awards are the Thomas O'Donnell Awards. Thomas O'Donnell was a previous superintendent of the Scranton School District. This award goes to the highest ranked male and female academic letter winners at Scranton High School. This year's winners are Fiona Evans and Ryan Kelpin. Our next award is the W. Albert Murphy Memorial Award. The late W. Albert Murphy, former principal of Technical High School, in the 1960s was an individual whose service to his school and community went far beyond that of a mere man doing his job. Throughout his tenure as principal, his every action was dedicated to the belief that we, we should take great pride in our school. It is in this spirit of love for and under, undying faith in his students that the class of 1961 has instituted the W. Albert Murphy Memorial Award. The winner of this award is the student who best personifies Mr. Murphy's love and service to Scranton High School. It's my pleasure to announce the winner of this year's award, Jacqueline Kuna. The Peter Doyle Award. This evening, I am pleased to announce the annual Peter Doyle Award. Mr. Doyle was a math teacher from 1931 until his retirement in 1970. For more than 20 years, he was the head coach for both football and baseball teams. During these years, Mr. Doyle coached many outstanding athletes who not only distinguished themselves on the athletic fields, but also in their lives after their athletic careers. To these students, he was not only a coach, but also a friend and an advisor. His interest in girls' athletics was ahead of its time. He believed that all students should have an equal opportunity to participate in sports. It's fitting, therefore, that a man who contributed so much to our athletic program, a man who recognized that women should have equal opportunity in the athletics, would have an award named in his honor. This year's award goes to an outstanding female athlete, and that athlete is Sophia Glogowski. The PIAA Scholar Athlete Award. District 2 of the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic Association has instituted academic and athletic excellence awards. 
The criteria to determine eligibility for these awards is the responsibility of each individual school. At the Scranton High School, we have decided that these awards should honor students who have used their talents well and have made significant effort in the classroom and on the athletic fields. It's my pleasure to present these two awards to students who have not only been exceptional athletes, but have also excelled in the classroom. This year's winners are Joshua Christensen and Fiona Evans. At this time, I'd like to bring back Mr. John Coyle, principal of Scranton High School. The third annual Frank Guzowitz Memorial Scholarship is presented to a graduating senior who has distinguished themselves academically and has been accepted into an institution of higher education to study mathematics or computer science. Mr. Guzowitz was a graduate of Scranton Technical High School. Upon graduating, he went on to study at both Millersville and Ohio State Universities, eventually settling in Dallas, Texas, where he worked in the computer industry. After his passing in 2017, Mr. Guzowitz willed $50,000 to Scranton High School to be used for scholarships in his name for many years to come. The winner of this year's Frank Guzowitz Memorial Award is Matthew Christensen. Congratulations. The second annual Campus of Champions Award is presented by Scranton High School's administration and is to recognize two students who exhibit the spirit of what it truly means to be a member of the Campus of Champions. These students advocate, promote, and support our school community through their actions, both large and small, on a daily basis. The winners of the Campus of Champions Awards are John Finnerty and Meredith Santiago. Congratulations. The Knight Award was established by former Scranton High School principal, Mr. Brian McGraw. The Knight Award represents a student who is involved in an extracurricular sport, club, or activity, has brought honor to this school community, and represents the school with respect and class. The Knight is idealized as brave, loyal to Scranton High School, and willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater good. The winner of this year's Knight Award is David Hakus. Congratulations. Our final two awards of the night are Miss Scranton and Mr. Scranton. In order to be considered for these awards, a student must be in good standing. They must also have represented Scranton High School in interscholastic athletics or as a member of the various groups which support our school community. Finally, they must have conducted themselves in a manner which reflected credit on themselves and on Scranton High School. The winners of these awards are chosen annually by a committee representing the faculty, coaching staffs, advisors, and the administration. The winners for the class of 2020 are for Miss Scranton, Lydia McConnellog, and for Mr. Scranton, Noah Leedy. Congratulations. In these unprecedented times, we cannot thank our faculty, students, parents, and the entire school community for your support, patience, and understanding. Without all of you, the success of Scranton High School would not be possible. Thank you for watching our program and stay safe from the Campus of Champions. We pledge our love to you, dear Scranton. Through the years we will be true. All the days we've been together give us memories sweet and dear. Different roads might lie before us. In our hearts you'll always be. Our foundation, dear old Stratton, alma mater, be.